Hi, my name is Gary Cruz, and if you're interested in learning what RetroPie is all about, check out this video. If you're watching my channel before for GaryCruz.com, you'll see that it's focused on strictly on crypto. In this channel, I'm going to be focusing on technology, stuff that I've always been interested in. And if you're interested in that stuff, hit subscribe and like. Today, I'm going to all be talking about the Raspberry Pi with RetroPie software. What is RetroPie software? Essentially, it is an emulation software that allows you to play multiple games from Atari all the way to like Sega, even the arcade corn op games. So if you're around my age, you know, the late 30s, early 40s, you grew up in the arcades and you may have been interested in something like this. Today is going to be an overview of the RetroPie. Now what I've done is I've actually put one in a Nest Pi Plus case. Click up here or at the end of the video or look in the description to see the build. The challenge with RetroPie is that it's something you can't just buy. It's more of like a hobby, do it yourself, put it together, put it in a case, add your peripherals, add the software, etc. But it's not that hard. It does take a few steps. If you watch my video after this, I'll show you how to do that. Once you have it all completed in this nice case, you'll see that this looks a lot like your Nintendo Entertainment System back in the day. It has HDMI output. And then also this Nest Pi Case Plus has a power and reset button, which works just like it should. Let's go ahead and get it started. That's a really cool intro. I've got this so that each time it restarts, it has a random intro, either still image or video image. I like the ones that can review the retro type of thing to give you a preview of the, what's the common side reaction. After the intro plays, then the emulation software loads. This is what controls, or this is actually the uh, front end that controls all the different emulation software that plays the ROMs. Think of ROMs as, well, the technical name for ROM is read-only memory. And back in the day, those ROMs either came in a cartridge or were built into the arcade machines that cost thousands of dollars. Now what they've done is that they have extracted the ROMs and now you can emulate that in software. And then it's amazing what you can do with a Raspberry Pi. This is what a Raspberry Pi looks like. It's not something that you can eat and it's a circuit board basically with all the hardware needed to run this emulation. Now all that emulation and software is all stored on an SD card. I have a 128 gig card because I have a bunch of video previews and over 10,000 games loaded on it. Legally, of course. Let's take a look at the interface. This is the screensaver. I have a 8-bit dough gamepad. It's a SN30 Pro, wireless, Bluetooth. You can emulate Amiga. And you can see in the bottom right, there's 122 games. If we drill into that, it gives you a preview of these games. Now, if you install this yourself, there's going to be a different view. I have a theme loaded on here. I'll link that theme below. And just to kind of go through this, I just want to give you a preview of the different game systems it emulates and computers. And it's got the Amiga CD32. Take a look at that. These previews take up quite a bit of space, as you can imagine. If I press B on the gamepad, it'll go back to the previous menu. And I just press A to select. So if I go to Arcade Classics, here's 88 games, 10 yard fight. And if I hold the down key, it starts to scroll down really fast. It goes even faster and you can see a preview of the letters it's going through. And then if I press this select key, it'll show me a way to kind of jump through here. So I can jump through, let's go to R. And there's R-Type and R-Type 2. 
and R-Type Leo. I mean, there's thousands of games in here that I've never heard of. Go back. Atari 2600, Atari 5200 with 72 games, Atari 7800, Lynx, ST, Commodore 64, ColecoVision, Dreamcast, Famicom, Famicom Disk System, Game Watch, Sega Game Gear, and some hacks. Apparently these hacks are games that people have hacked uh, to play better. You'll see what I mean in, in my favorites menu. So there's quite a number in here. Neo Geo, Nintendo. I don't want to make this video too long, so let's go into my favorites and take a look what's in there. So what you can see is on the right, you see where it says arcade. I'll tell you if it's on arcade or the actual system that it's emulated from. Here's the Atari 2600. Another 2600 game. And let's go into, let's go into Galaga. So I'll press A, which will load the emulator. While that's loading, this will be the coin, insert coin, and this will be the start where it says start. Oh, it saved my last game. Okay. There's a little bit of lag because I'm actually playing this through my HDMI and into my converter through my system. In other words, I'm just making excuses, but you can see that this is a hacked game because it, the firing is way faster than what I used to remember in the arcade. Well, you'll see that I'll fire this fast not only in the challenging stage, but also in the normal stage. So you can see that it's firing much faster because this is a hacked game. It's almost like being on the challenging stage. Okay, to exit out of the game, you just press these two buttons. You can also press the reset button to get out of the game and get back to the main menu. So you can see that on all games, I have over 12,000 on here. The other thing you can do, if I press start, I can change the theme of emulation station. Press start, go to UI settings. And let's go to theme and let's check out Blu-ray. Now this is a different theme called Blu-ray. It's really nice and clean. It has this cover flow type of effect with a mirror on the bottom. Let's check out another theme. UI settings, theme set, carbons the default. Let's take a look at Magazine Madness. Here's a magazine looking theme. So this one has a magazine theme where you can see a little bit of a description of what the game's like. Well, a, you can see the description of the game and you can see a preview of the game itself. Retro-rama. This is Retro-Rama. Looks like an old cartoon-like comic book. Ooh, look at this. Atari, Atari 5200. What is this? Can't even read it. Four games available. Television. Let's check out Super Display. Okay, Super Display looks a lot like a track mode. That's just another front end for the emulation station. And let's just take a look at Game Boy Advance. Well, actually, let's go to Game Boy Color. 
I never had one of these, so I'm not familiar with any of these games. Ooh, has some retro games on it, too. Oh, speaking of Game Boy, take a look at the re uh, original Game Boy. Old school. Let's see what happens when it loads. Game Boy. Let's pick this one. Okay, just check this out. Even emulates the green screen of the original Game Boy. Okay, not very interesting for me. All right, so out of this set, my favorite is Space Oddity. Performance-wise, it doesn't take much of a hit on the UI, so it loads a little bit faster and it scrolls through faster. And I do like that retro space-looking theme. There we go. Sweet. That concludes my overview of the Raspberry Pi with RetroPie software in this really nifty NES-looking case. Uh, you can find the links to the, this case and the other devices and the overview in my description below. And the benefit so far that I've seen with this is that it's very small. You can take it with you to parties. Uh, you can see it's not much larger than this controller. Uh, and this controller is pretty much the same, a replica of the uh, Nintendo controller. This is actually more like the, the original one from Famicom. Anyways, but this one is also wired via USB. The biggest difference is that this is more like $11 and this one is, you know, $49. But it has two USB ports here, two additional here, so you can have up to four players. It has Ethernet, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus that I have in here has Wi-Fi. So I actually transfer the ROMs that I can, you can get from the internet and wirelessly transfer it via, from your computer. I may do a tutorial on that. Uh, this has HDMI, here's the power, and the SD card goes right in here. And also this case has a nice little storage compartment for your SD cards if you wanted to put some additional ones down there. What's the biggest difference than the ones that you see you can buy in the store? Well, first of all, the ones that you buy that are from Nintendo only have about 40 or so Nintendo only games. As you can see, this emulates everything from the Amiga all the way to the Sega and everything in between. And you can put thousands of games on them, uh, which just uploading them from onto an SD card. Thanks for watching. If this is the type of content that you like to watch, hit that like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching.